and welcome to Getting the Tea with Dr. G, where we put the U in TU. Today, our guest is Ms. Brandy Cosgriff from the Office of Information Technology here at the Tuskegee University. Good morning, Brandy. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, <laughs> Dr. Griffin. How are you? I am well. We're off to a great day here at Tuskegee, and we're going to talk to the students a little bit today about the Office of Information Technology. So I'll just jump in and ask you, what is the Office of Information Technology? So the Office of Information Technology allows students, staff, and faculty members to put in ticket requests for anything that's not working. So desktop, laptops, not connecting to the internet, so on and so forth. Anything technological-wise, we assist them. Great, um, and so we know in this world of technology that your office is uh, pertinent to survival of our students. Is there Wi-Fi throughout the Tuskegee University campus? Absolutely, there's <laughs> Wi-Fi everywhere on the entire Tuskegee University campus. Um, if any students are having any issues with connectivity, please reach out to the help desk. We're here to surface you. Most students will bring in a outside router device and, and this will prohibit the use from other students being able to connect. So we want to ensure that we have a seamless connectivity for all students, staff, and faculty. So what we're asking is that please do not bring any outside router devices. If you do not have connectivity or if you're unable to connect, please reach out to me so that we can assist you. And what do I need to access the Tuskegee suite of platforms with our Wi-Fi service here? You need an email first, right? So after you've paid your admissions fee, then you'll be sent an email, right? This will allow you to get access to our TU University email and our Tiger Web. Tiger Web is a platform that allows you to view your schedule, financial information, and banking information, so on and so forth. Later on, right before the semester, then you get access to Canvas, right? So that's usually typically about one week, and Canvas is the system where you all locate and do your homework and complete your assignments. <laughs> so <laughs> we have email, Tiger Web, and Canvas, and those will be accessed once you pay your admission fees, right? And then you receive your credentials via the email that you enrolled and registered. And when you mention credentials, how do I get my credentials as a new prospective student? Now, you will receive your credentials via the email that you registered on. So any personal e email that you left and you registered, that's where your credentials will go to. So I know we've talked a little bit about the help desk and Brady is great at answering that. Always a friendly voice. So how do students access the help desk? Okay, awesome. The help desk can be accessed at helpdesk at tuskegee.edu via email. You can visit the help desk. I'm located in John A. Kinney. Most students come there when they are, you know, transferred in or their first semester. That's the spot where everyone is. So I'm located in John A. Kinney. It's called the Bioethics Building. It's the same building and office uh, location of student health. So you can find me there. The room number is 70-230. You can also reach out to us by phone by contacting 334-727-8040. Or again, you can come by or do anything of that nature. Either either way. Way. I'm there. I'm a that 8040 is an important number. Guys. It is. You gotta <laughs> keep that in your pocket. Does your office have any recommendations for computers, software? Or operating systems that we need to be aware of so we make suggestions right you know there are two different operating systems you have Windows and then you have of course the iOS operating system for Mac users um, we are requiring or suggesting that I should say that Windows 10 or newer would be suitable for you to make sure you have connectivity while you're here on campus in your dorm and the other buildings across campus too as well for the actual Mac themselves for the operating system we are uh, recommending 11.0 for maximum capability, okay? 11.0 or higher. Are there any other technology support services offered by the Tuskegee University Office of Information Technology? We recently launched a new service for students, right? And it's called Computer Repair. And the Computer Repair service will allow students to bring in a laptop or equipment that's not working for them. And one of our student members will assist them with that, okay. right? So that's recent we just fresh off off the books right and we just started that so it's something new that we've done but we also have in the office of information technology two locations um, across campus for labs for students right those labs will contain new computer equipment and it also has printers available uh, for the students to use so there is not a need for a student to actually bring an actual printer unless they just necessarily need to have one but we are supplying resources for those students to go out and make sure that print jobs are completed for them. 
So we talk about all of these free services. Is there a technology fee for students of Tuskegee and what all does that cover? The technology fee will cover your Wi-Fi access. That's of course in your dorm room. That's also in the buildings that you go when you have your classes in where the professors are facilitating. Um, this also includes access to your email, your Tiger Web platform, making sure that we also have a cybersecurity tool as well. That's one important factor that we'll be focusing on too for information of technology. Um, so any type of training that needs to be done through that, you'll be sent videos and things of that nature for faculty and staff. Um, again, we talked about the print the paper and as far as printing is free so nobody has to pay for paper nobody has to pay for printing and there are no caps on the jobs at this time right so those print jobs can be done uh, again you have access to Wi-Fi in your room and we also started a, a computer service with work study students so students are able to bring in their devices if anything is going wrong with it and allow us to assess it and there's no charge for that unless parts have to be ordered so any other information or thoughts you want to share with our prospective students or their families about IT related issues and how we can um, best make their transition to Tuskegee seamless. The student is just having a, a difficult time trying to download software, trying to get logged into their computer, and they're in a desperate need of service, then we're here to service them, right? I think that um, oftentimes they try to resort to using other services without reaching out to IT. So I do want to make sure that you guys understand that we're here to make sure that your uh, scholastic endeavors go seamlessly as possible with the campus technology. So we're here to serve you. Um, and I'll follow up, um, Ms. Cosworth, um, with that as well. Um, when students are leaving a message or sending an email, we <laughs> we have about 10,000 applicants right now and um, they may have a lot of questions. So is there a preferred time limit? I know in our office, we're like, please give us 48 to 72 hours mm -hmm. to respond. Do you have mm -hmm. a similar I, time in your area? Yeah, I do. I do. We try to keep an expectation of up to 72 hours to complete a request. However, based on the students, then that looks a, a little bit different, right? Because then we talk about priority levels, okay? So it, it just all depends what's going on with this. If we're close to the start of the semester, a student can't get in, then I'm, you know, I'm available. Reach out to me via, you know, email or make sure you come by and I make sure you're resolved right then and there. So there are priority levels that we will set expectations for to get done sooner than later. But we do ask for a 72 hour expectation, expectation to have the ticket resolved. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Getting the Tea with Dr. G. You can reach uh, Brandy Cosgrick in the Office of Information Technology at the information below. As always, if you have any questions for admissions, our information is also listed. Thank you for joining us today on Getting the Tea with Dr. G, where we put the U in TU. Get ready to take flight because your journey to greatness starts here.